Let's consider the Fourier series of this uh, triangle function. So uh, let's begin by just writing down a general uh, Fourier series. So uh, uh, if f of x is uh, periodic with period uh, 2L, then the uh, general Fourier series for f of x is uh, traditionally we write one half the constant term a zero plus then the infinite sum from n equals one to infinity uh, the cosine series so a zero is part of the cosine series so this is a sub n and this is periodic function with period two l so you can see that has to be n pi x over L plus the sine series B sub N sine N pi X over L which has no constant term because um, N equals zero is zero. Now the um, triangle function is uh, a special function in, in that it's symmetric it's an even function right so F of uh, minus x is equal to f of plus x and uh, an even function uh, can be represented only in terms of uh, cosines so cosines are even functions sines are odd functions so an even function can be written as what's called a Fourier cosine series okay so um, for the triangle function rep represented above we can just use a uh, cosine series and here um, L is equal to pi because it's periodic between minus pi and pi instead of minus L and L so L is pi and um, we only need the, the value of the function between 0 and pi because of the symmetry um, so the Fourier cosine series we can write as f of x equals one half a naught plus the sum from n equals one to infinity a sub n and now uh, l is pi so cosine n times x so as far as the function in the graph is concerned we can represent it as this cosine series and then what are the values of a n well we typically we multiply by cosine uh, mx and integrate dx and we can pick out the coefficient a sub m if I label uh, mn instead we can have a sub n is going to be the integral from 0 to L or here it's 0 to pi of f of x cosine nx dx right and there will be some constant term here which we can figure out by considering what happens when n equals 0 when n equals 0 we have the integral from 0 to pi f of x dx and we'll have the integral from 0 to pi one half a naught which will be pi over 2 a naught so this coefficient will have to be 2 over pi okay so for the triangle function those are our uh, coefficients a sub n if we want to calculate them we need an analytical expression for uh, f of x between um, 0 and pi so it's just a line so we can write f of x then is a um, function which is 1 when x equals 0 and it has negative slope and it's a function which is minus 1 when x equals pi so we can subtract minus 2x over pi so when x equals pi this function will be minus 1 so we have our 
our uh, Fourier cosine series for the triangle with our f of x. And then what remains to do is to do some integrations if we want an analytical expression for f. So um, the constant term uh, we can realize it's zero because the uh, average value of this triangle is zero, but we can uh, explicitly compute that term to show that if we want. So let's look at the A0 term. So let me move this up here. So A0 is equal to uh, 2 over pi times the integral from 0 to pi f of x dx 1 minus 2x over pi dx this is a relatively easy integral 2 over pi the integral of 1 is x the integral of x is x squared over 2 so minus x squared over pi between 0 and pi and that gives us pi minus pi squared over pi which is 0 minus 0 so that's 0 okay okay so uh, what about a sub n so let me flip this over how do we do uh, the general case a sub n so a sub n is equal to 2 over pi times the integral from 0 to pi f of x 1 minus 2x over pi times cosine nx dx so we have uh, two integrals to do here so let's uh, split this up this is uh, 2 over pi the integral from 0 to pi the one integral cosine nx dx minus we have a 2 over pi and a 2 over pi so we have a minus 4 over pi squared times the integral from 0 to pi x times cosine nx dx okay so we need to do these two integrals um, the first integral we can uh, do pretty easily right so the integral of cosine nx is sine nx divided by n so we have 2 over n pi sine nx evaluated between 0 and pi the second integral minus 4 over pi squared um, we need to do a parts integration here okay so if we want to integrate this one by parts we want to reduce the x so we let uh, u equals x du equals dx dv equals cosine nx dx right so then the integral of uh, dv will give us uh, sine nx. The derivative of sine nx is cosine nx times n, so then we need to divide through by n, right? So then this parts integration, we have a uv, so we have an x sine nx over n, uv, minus a v du minus the integral from 0 to pi v du is a sine nx over n dx okay and this first term is the boundary term so it's into, it's uh, from 0 to pi right okay so what have we got here? So sine pi n pi sine n pi 
where n equals 1, 2, 3, 4 is 0, and sine 0 is 0. So this whole term is 0. Okay. This whole term is 0. Here again, x sine n pi will be 0 when uh, for n equals 1, 2, 3, and sine 0. So this whole boundary term is also 0. So what we have left then is um, minus minus is plus, and we have a 4 pi squared over pi squared n. So we have a 4 over uh, n pi squared, right? And then an integral from 0 to pi of uh, sine nx dx. Okay, uh, which is an integral we can do. Um, so this is uh, 4. So the integral of sine nx is minus cosine nx over n. So we have an n squared pi squared uh, minus cosine, so minus sine cosine nx right, cosine nx over n, so we have an extra factor of n down here, a minus sine cosine nx, from 0 to pi. Um, cosine of, so this is cosine n pi minus cosine 0. I can get rid of the minus sign if I flip the order. So this is 4 over n squared pi squared and then we have a cosine 0 is 1 minus a cosine n pi. Okay? And that's our solution for a sub n. Um, now cosine n pi will be 1 when n equals 0, 2, 4, even n, and then we get 0. When n is odd, n equals 1, cosine pi is minus 1, so we have a 1 minus minus 1 will become a 2. So when n equals 1, 3, 5, this will become a 2. So this is equal to 4 over n squared pi squared when n, sorry, this will be an 8 over n squared pi squared when n is odd, right? When n is 1, 3, 5, and when n is even, we have 1 minus 1, so it will be 0 when n is even, okay? And that's our a sub n. So now, with this a sub n, we can put it together so here's our f of x. So we end up with f of x is equal to one half a zero is equal to zero. So we have our a sub n here. Uh, n is odd. So the we have a common eight over pi squared. So f of x is eight over pi squared. And then just when n is 1, it's a cosine x. When n is 1, it's just 8 over pi squared. And then there's an extra factor here of uh, n squared. So only odd terms, and there's a factor of n squared in the denominator. So we have an 8 over pi squared uh, cosine x plus uh, n equals 3 term, cosine 3x with an n squared in the denominator is 3 squared plus cosine 5x over 5 squared plus dot dot dot. And that is our tri uh, Fourier series for the triangle function. From this series you can get a nice series for pi squared over 8 if you put x equals 0.